credit turnover ratio or average payment period okay so credit turnover ratio is also one of the activity ratio the activities ratio are also called as turnover ratio or performance ratios these ratios are employed to evaluate the efficiency with which the firm manages or utilizes its assets okay so these ratios usually indicate the frequency of sale with respect to each asset these assets may be your capital assets or your working capital assets or your inventory your debtors or even your creditors okay so these ratios are usually calculated with respect to sales or cost of sales but depending on the nature of asset or liability which we are using for which we are calculating the turnover ratio it may change okay so so creditors turnover ratio what is a creditors turnover ratio ratio is equal to annual net credit purchases divided by your average creditors or you may also call it as average accounts payable okay so and in this case your creditors are related to purchases and that to your credit purchases so in numerator we are taking annual net credit purchases net credit purchases means suppose if there are some returns and we can reduce it okay so this is how we calculate creditors turnover ratio so this will show how many times your average creditors are rotating in a given period of time so usually it's a year since in the numerator we are taking annual credit purchases it's a year okay now similarly we will also find out what is the average payment period okay average payment period for creditors now for each and every creditor your payment period may change depending on terms and conditions with that particular creditor some creditors may require money within a month some may require in two months okay so average payment period will give us the idea of how much is the average payment period of all the creditors taken together okay so average payment period is your average accounts payable or you may say average creditors divided by your average daily credit purchases since we are using average daily credit purchases in the denominator we will be getting average payment period in terms of number of days okay so if you see the formula for average payment period it is average creditors upon your annual credit purchases divided by 365 that is nothing but your average creditors upon average credit purchases average daily credit per average daily credit purchases but in this case we'll take annual credit purchases divided by 365 so it will become into 365 so that is this is nothing average creditors upon annual credit purchase means you are it is this formula this part of formula is reverse of your creditors turnover ratio so it is 1 upon your creditors turnover ratio into 365 so that means it is 365 divided by your creditors turnover ratio okay if you want to find out it in your your average payment period in months what you have to do instead of 365 you will take 12 months divide by your creditors turnover ratio okay this is how you calculate your average payment period and creditors turnover ratio now we'll see one example 
on how to calculate it now this is an example credit purchase is 180000 your opening balance in accounting accounts payable accounts payable is opening creditors okay and a closing balance in accounts payable is 40000 so closing balance in creditors okay find the creditor turnover ratio and the average payment period okay so creditors turnover ratio is equal to what is the formula for creditors turnover ratio creditors turnover ratio is equal to your credit purchases divided by your average accounts payable okay so credit purchases divided by average accounts payable accounts payable means creditor okay so how much is a credit purchase 1 lakh 80000 divided by 20000 Plus forty thousand divided by two. So how much does that come to? One lakh eighty thousand divided by sixty thousand divided by. So that is thirty thousand. So it comes to six. Okay. So that is a average creditors turnover ratio. right now we'll find out what is the average payment period average payment period okay so average payment period is equal to average accounts payable upon average daily credit purchases okay so that comes to average accounts payable so how much is the average accounts payable we had calculated it 20000 plus 40000 divided by 2 so that comes to 30000 divided by average credit purchase so total purchases is how much One lakh eighty thousand. So one lakh eighty thousand divided by three sixty-five. Okay, so that comes to approximately sixty-one days. Okay. So there is one more way of calculating average payment period. Okay. so what is that you have to divide number of days in the year that is 365 days divided by creditors turnover ratio okay so that comes to 365 divided by 6 okay so approximately it comes to 61 days or if you want it in months then 12 months divided by creditors turnover ratio so that comes to 12 divided by 6 so 2 months okay this is how you calculate your average payment period and